Hello? Hey Jesse, how's it going? I'm staying busy, but good. What are you up to tonight? Uh, I'm gonna be working and then relaxing. Well, I'm going to a magic show. Do you want to go? That sounds great, but I'm going to be working. Really? I'm surprised. I thought you'd enjoy it. Yeah, sounds great, but I want to have a relaxing night at home. Stop by later and let me know how it is. Okay, I'll come over later. Alright, see ya. Hey there, English speakers. Jesse here. And I hope you're excited for today's lesson. I'll try to make it entertaining. Today we're covering a common error that I hear from many of my English students from all levels, from beginner to intermediate and even some advanced speakers. So we're going to hopefully fix this error and help you become a better English speaker. If you go to languagegalaxy.net, you'll find a worksheet that'll help you follow along with this lesson complete with explanations, quizzes, and examples. Today we're going to look at adjectives that use an ing or ed ending. For example, excited or exciting, worried or worrying, motivated or motivating. What is the difference? Well, basically the ed ending describes how a person's feeling. It describes our emotion. I'm excited. I'm worried. I'm frustrated. And the ing ending is used to describe the thing that causes that emotion. The party was exciting. The movie was surprising. This problem is frustrating. Let's look at the word motivate. And let's use it to describe a speech that you may have heard. I was very motivated by that speech. I'm going to succeed this year. Or that speech was very motivating to me. You may have noticed that we use these in different ways. These words don't usually stand alone, especially in the ED form. The ED form is usually followed up by a preposition or another word that forms a chunk. Things like about, by, because, in. If you printed out the worksheet, you can underline or put brackets around these chunks so you can memorize these phrases together. For example, motivated by, I'm worried about, aggravated when, Excited because, and the ing is often found at the end of a sentence or an idea, and it's also found with a noun that it describes. For example, a motivating speech. Note, these are not rules. These are not things that follow a pattern every time. These are tendencies. English has a lot of tendencies because we have so many exceptions to any rules that we do have. So for example, you may say, I felt very relaxed when I was at the beach. Or you may say, it was very relaxing when I was at the beach. Both are followed by when, but you were relaxed, the situation was relaxing. So now it's your turn. Take this short quiz and see if you can use the correct form for these adjectives. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps you become a better English speaker. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's open. Hey, hey. Hey, Jesse. How was it? Good. It was entertaining. And then after the show, the magician showed us an amazing card trick. Do you want to see it?
Yeah, show me. Okay, pick a card. Okay. Remember your card and put it back in the deck. Okay, shuffle once, twice, three times, and this is your card. No. No? That's because this is your card. I'm disappointed. Odd. I guess that's because your card has disappeared. How did you do that? That was an amazing trick. I'm shocked. How did you do that? Where are you? Where'd you go? I better get back to work. Oh!